Yes, sir, we got some good crops growing out here. Be a shame if anything happened to them. Many of you jumping into the world of Vera are planning to get your hands on that artisan system and make yourself some money or gear. And as you've probably heard by now, Intrepid has taken a page from New World's playbook and made every tree and every rock harvestable. But the way this system actually works is far from the same when compared to New World. In fact, the only thing that it really has in common is the massive amounts of gatherables in the world and hopefully the sound design as well. As you set out to hunt for these gatherables, you'll start out as most players do, wandering around looking for them as no one knows where specific resources are. The trees and the rocks that you come across, although in the plenty, will offer mostly basic resources used for constructions, caravans, node upgrades, and base materials that you can combine to make stronger materials as you go. And more rare resources will spawn randomly throughout a zone, causing you to hunt them down a bit more. When you're going through the gathering and you cut down a tree eventually it will respawn but not in the way you are used to when a tree respawns it's actually regrowing it starts as a sapling and eventually making its way through these stages to a large harvestable tree how long this takes if it happens at all depends on the resource along with something intrepid is calling their land management system this system is really what makes intrepid's gathering stand out from the rest because with everything intrepid does they need to take it a step above perfection giving players a bit more complexity to systems, even something as simple as chopping down trees. As you and your fellow server mates begin to harvest resources from the lands around you as you step foot in Nevera, this will have an impact on those gatherables. If you continue to strip one area of its resources, the land around you will degrade. Those trees that were once everywhere are now struggling to grow again, and those apple bushes now have very little apple on it, because you and your fellow players were not careful of the health of the land. But no need to worry completely, because there are ways to improve the health bringing back all of those lovely resources. This could be done through removing an invasive species of plant from that area, taking out poachers that are reducing the animal population, or even making sure that you properly rotate your crops on your freehold farm, providing better health for the soil. The health of the land can tie into many things. It could be based out of a biome, a node, a player freehold, maybe different segments of the world, really having a big impact on the land around you. Your actions in Vera will always have a positive or negative effect on the world. As stated time and time again, Ashes of Creation is built around a risk versus reward system even with things such as gathering. As the risk is causing that tree to maybe not grow back next time, while well, the reward is the materials that you get from it. This system is designed in a way which not only will bolster the economy, which we'll talk about in a minute, but also create conflict among nodes, castles, guilds, and players. As guilds might put more effort into protecting certain lands that they know have resources that they need, which eventually could lead to massive guild wars and server altering events. I've also seen a lot of concern around the fact that players are going to run through the world at launch, swinging their axes, making it really frustrating for harvesting and really hard to get new resources, which I can see happening for a little while, but eventually the population is going to spread out and some of those beginner areas will grow back. There is also the fact that not everyone will be a gatherer in the game and you can only go out and master one of the three artisan paths, whether that be a gatherer, refiner, or crafter, which should thin out the amount of gatherers around the world as well. But if these resources become scarce, it will probably have tremendous effect on your server's economy. If nodes can't get the resources they need, they will rely heavily on caravans and trade deals to bring in those resources. Prices will probably rise in areas that had poor land management, and those with vast amounts of the much needed resource will be able to fill their pockets with gold. This is something that Intrepid said in the latest livestream that they will rely heavily on feedback for an Alpha 2, so if players find it's not working the way Intrepid hoped, then you can be sure we will probably see even more changes for down the road to fit with the Ashes of Creation vision. As it's really hard to gauge something like this because you really don't see a land management aspect on this scale in MMOs. Normally you see it on smaller scale like your personal freeholds, which we do have, but on a larger like world changing scale, this is something completely new that I haven't seen in an MMO. If you've seen something similar, let me know in the comments because I wanna know what that game is. What are your thoughts on the land management system in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, 
account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, grab some cosmetics, or just hang out until your time comes to jump into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.